Hi, I'm Debbie Cronister. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and today I'm here to show you how I made this really cute little card. So, I started out with a piece of mint macaron, and this is mint macaron and poppy parade together, and I love those two colors together. They're so pretty. And the paper that I'm using, the designer series paper, comes from Abstract Beauty, and it's just a great package of a multiple colors patterns and prints. And so I'm looking for, this is my kit here, I'm looking for that particular sheet. There it is. Okay, so I'm gonna, this pack is a four by six pack. And so it comes in, um, there's 48 sheets in it. And so, because it's four by six, it's too long for my card. So I'm gonna cut it down to five and a quarter, no, five and three eighths. No, it needs to be five and a quarter, huh? Okay, so we'll cut it down to five and a quarter. And it's already four inches wide. So, let's go with that. I have a feeling I have cut these the wrong size because I have a feeling I cut them at four and an eighth. Let's check and see. I think they are. Yes, so if you got the packet, um, no, it's cut at four. Okay, it's cut at four by, it should be four by four. So I'm gonna trim mine down to four by four. And then I need to check on, my, I should have left it alone. It would have been fine. <laughs> Leave yours alone. So if it's four, check and see if it's four. One side should be four inches. Okay, if it's not, trim it off. It might be cut at four and an eighth. I'm so sorry. Um, and this one I want to be a little bit longer there, so we're gonna leave that one. Okay. All right, so what I want, what the goal, what we're after is for this to show just a little bit of the red at the top and the bottom, not a lot, just a little bit at each end, just like that. Um, and I still need to cut my four, this one down a little bit more because it's just showing out the edge. So let's look at four inches. Just needs a hair taken off and that probably won't work, but. It did, not bad. We just took off the hair. Okay, so let's start with, we're going to adhere this to the inside of the card to start with. And I think what I'll do is I think I will stamp a little flower, a little bit of flower on the bottom of that. I don't think I put even put one inside my card, but I'm going to, and I'm gonna use the outline instead of using the actual flower. So for that, I'm just gonna ink this up and just stamp right in there. Just to give a little flower on the inside, okay? And then I'm going to adhere that to the inside of my card. And so it's still room for me to stamp a greeting or to write a nice little note to someone. And we'll put that inside of our mint macaron card base. So it does bring a little bit of that red inside. I could have even taken and put my little piece that I snipped off there. Let's do that. Let's just put a real thin line down here. And I'm just gonna put that little bit of, oops, let's put it on here since I'm not getting it very well. And I'm smearing ink everywhere today. I have inky fingers. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of adhesive here and there. And one end is probably not even gonna be on the paper. It'll need trimmed off. Pretty close though, huh? All right, so if you have a little piece you're cutting off, there's a place to use it. Right there. So check yours and see if it needs trimmed off. Okay, let's get to the front of our card. So on this one, love this side of the paper. I think it's so pretty. Um, but it won't work with the red. So let's turn that over and put our glue on that side. And attach this to the front of the card. Okay. And then I'm gonna attach my Poppy Parade 
also to the front of my card. Now I just have to figure out which way it goes, right? Is it gonna go this way? Nope, it's gonna go this way. So it should meet up with my the edge of my DSP, should being the key word. And I have it crooked now. Okay, there we go. All right, now for my flower. I love this flower, it's just so pretty. So I'm going to ink it up and stamp my flower. That one did not come out. Okay, tip, I have a tip for you guys. If yours comes out like that, I don't like that. It doesn't look nice. First of all, I'm gonna clean my, my flower really good. So you can either rinse it in water. Hang on a minute. Looking for my hat. Having a new room is great, except I can't find things. If you have one of these um, cleaning pads that we sold years ago, I don't even know if we still carry them in the catalog, but if you have one, I would say clean it really good on there. Okay, and get all the little, anything that's on there. And then for your pad, so that's too intensely inked is what it is. It's an, this stamp is a distinctive, distinctive stamp. And so they are made so that um, if you get too much ink on them, they don't work as well. So you see what I'm doing? I'm gonna take a spoon and I'm gonna just scoot some of the ink down. I'm pressing it, I wanna press it down into the pad so it's not at the top. So our stamp pads are designed so that when you close them up, they are upside down. So all the ink comes to the top, to the surface, which is what we want normally. But in this situation, we do not want that. Let me grab Kleenex. So I don't want to wipe that on my cleaning pad because it, red ink will be everywhere. Okay, so now when I stamp this in here and flip this over, it's more even. So I'm gonna show you both sides. So there's one side, there's the other side. See how splotchy and uneven that looks? This side looks so much prettier and more even. So, so with this, you wanna do that, definitely. You wanna clean your pad, and you may have to do it every card, every one that you stamp with that uh, image. Um, just scoot the ink over to the side, and then, unless you have a stamp pad that is older, and you've used it a lot, and you haven't re-inked it, and then you're good with it. And I'm not seeing my leaves. Uh-oh, guys. I've lost my leaf stamp. Let me see, it's gotta be here. I have no idea where it is. Um. Okay, I'm just gonna have to do it a little, mine a little different, okay? Because I don't see my leaf stamp here. I have currently misplaced it, and I'm sure it'll show up here, but not during this video, huh? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna take this, oh, there it is. I told you it would show up. We're gonna take our mask that we made in the very beginning, and I hope you've kept a hold of yours and you're just gonna place that over. Now, if yours is getting not sticky anymore like mine is, just take a little bit of green glue or any liquid glue, and this will make it, probably any liquid glue, I'm not positive, but what it'll do is it'll make it tacky again. So we wanna add the glue to it, let it dry for just a minute. And I now have Kleenex on my hand. That's okay, at least it, my hand won't stick to anything. Okay, 
So now we can stick it on here, and we don't want it so sticky that it's gonna pull the image off, but we want it um, to stick enough that our flower is covered. And mine was getting unsticky. Okay, so I wanna put this on here so that I'm covering it, but I don't want, I mean, it's not gonna cover the whole image perfectly because I cut it real close. So, um, okay, let's get our leaves going. Let's check our leaves and see how they're looking. See, the leaves look good because my ink pad hasn't been re-inked. So, um, I'm just gonna add a few leaves right here and a few leaves over here. And then, and you wanna press down hard. See how mine didn't get all the way down? You wanna press down hard, but don't rock. <laughs> And then there, so just press right down on top. And so that one with a little bit knot too. Let's see if I can line this back up and give that a little press. I don't know, I think it's pretty done. Okay, so then we'll pull off our flower and look at that beautiful flower we have. Don't put your, your um, mask on too quick after you've stamped your red because it needs a little time to dry. So just keep that in mind. Okay, then we have a tag in our envelope here if you got the kit and if not what i've done is i've cut this from tailor-made tags and we're going to stamp the thank you kindly in the poppy parade on there and just centering it because we're going to put a bow at the top so Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and attach this to my card. Close that up. Aren't you glad paper has two sides? I am. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go all the way to the edge and leaving a little bit of red at the top and the bottom, a little bit of the poppy showing it's not all the way to the edge over there and that's not all the way to the edge over there see that green glue is so great okay and then we're going to attach this with dimensionals whoops i'm gonna to have to go wash my hands before i do another video so let's attach that with dimensionals right down here and we can go down further let's go that way um yeah let's go right in there and then i'm going to attach my uh, my bow which was tied for with linen white linen thread with a glue dot okay i have the shakes this morning guys i don't know what it is too much coffee I'm thinking <laughs> okay there we go and there is card number seven all done thank you so much for joining me and I hope you're enjoying this series